Melissa Groom, your host and producer of Toddlers to Teens Parent TV Show. And I'm here today with Laura Thompson. Laura's the director of Kinder Music in Australia and New Zealand. Hi, Laura. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Melissa. How are you going? I'm very good. So tell me, um, tell me, Laura, how did Kinder Music get started and when did it come to Australia? Kinder Music began in the late 1960s. Um, it was made by educational experts actually in Germany uh, and was developed, uh, they developed a music and movement curriculum for kindergarten children. So they drew on the work from musicians and educators from Europe and Asia, such as Montessori, Kadai, Dal Coast, uh, Orf and Suzuki. Yeah. And then by the mid 1970s, the program was ready to be rolled out. So then two of the original creators introduced it into the US and in 1978 the company Kinder Music was born. So a few years later it expanded into Canada and from there it's basically just spread around the world. So it was yeah. introduced into Australia in the early 90s and now Kinder Music has now been enjoyed by over a million families in more than 60 countries. Wow, that's massive. So yeah, it's definitely a, a world wide known brand. So um, what age group of the children is Kinder Music and what kind of things do the kids do in the classes? Kinder Music is for children that are right from newborn through to seven years of age. Uh, the kind of things that they do in class um, is things like singing, dancing, playing with age appropriate instruments. The activities obviously vary depending on the age of the child. So for example, in our babies group, we do things like baby massage and exercises designed for helping babies' neural pathways. Wow. Uh, and with our five to seven-year-olds, they're up to learning specific instruments like the glockenspiel, recorder and dulcimer and reading music. Wow. All right. I didn't know that about the babies. That, that's amazing, um, creating the neural pathways. That is that is very powerful and actually probably quite beneficial to um, children with autism and things like that. Absolutely, yeah. So kinder music's been really successful for children who do have special needs and a lot of uh, paediatricians and the likes do recommend children with special needs go along to a kinder music class. Wow, that's great. Well, I have to get my son along there. He's got Asperger's, so he absolutely loves music. And um, music's just such a great thing to have in the family home. It not only um, increases their self-esteem, but it just it's something really beautiful that the whole family can share. My, my daughter does piano lessons, and it's just beautiful. She played uh, Happy Birthday to Me this morning on the piano, so that was nice. That's sweet, so, yeah. And, I mean, if you remember back to sort of the old days before TV and radio or any of that stuff, the way that the families used to get together was a lot of the time it might be around the piano or guitar and they would get together and do, you know, singing and ensemble music and that was a way to bring families together, you know, before there was any sort of technology. So that's yeah. one of the beauties of music, bringing people back together. Yes, definitely. A very big need for that. So we've talked about um, some of the benefits, but what other benefits do children gain from doing kinder music? Well, research has shown that not only is music fun for children, but it also really helps to develop them basically in virtually every kind of intelligence. So kinder music is based on this research. So we work towards building a child's emotional, physical, social, language, um, cognitive skills, um, all those kinds of things. So, uh, for example, with the social aspect, because it's a class uh, situation, you know, the children who might not necessarily, they might not be in daycare or anything like that, they get to experience being around children their age and things like sharing, taking turns and things like that. They're all things that we encompass into the class as well. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? Because, uh, I mean, I know obesity is an epidemic uh, all, all around the world and we do focus so much on sport, but I've got three children with special needs who are, are more inclined to be musical but you know not every child you sort of think oh they're not musical but once you give them some lessons or put them in a kinder music class you know then they their um ability to learn you know they're, they're, when they're young they're so moldable and yeah exactly 
Mm. Yeah. So where do people go to find out more information about Kinder Music? The best place to go would be our website, which is kindermusic.com.au or just kindermusic.com. Either one will get you there. Yep. Um, and from there, you can find a Kinder Music class. You can read more about our program, so the different programs that we have for the different age children. Yep. Uh, you can download a free preview class coupon as well. Um, and we also have uh, our online store so that if there wasn't a class in your area or you just wanted to do something at home, we have, you know, CDs, books and instruments and things that you can purchase there too. Wow. Okay, that sounds great. All right, so lastly, uh, Laura, what's the best tip that you can give to a parent? My best tip is basically the home is most definitely the best learning environment. So. Whilst, especially with kinder music, we encourage people to come along to the classes, we encompass to do the learning that you do in class at home as well. So uh, any time out that you can take with your child, whether it be singing them nursery rhymes, um, having a dance around the home, or even just giving them a saucepan and a wooden spoon to bang on is going to be beneficial because you're basically helping them to develop their musicality and uh, letting them explore themselves. Yeah, excellent. All right, well, thanks so much, Laura. Thanks for being on Toddlers to Teens TV. And uh, if you're interested in... If you're interested in enrolling your child in a trial class of Kinder Music, then I'll put up the link for the website there. So thanks for joining us, Laura. Thanks for having me. I hope you enjoyed this interview, and we'll see you next time. Thank Bye. You. Bye.